Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So time for some more Doctor Who. Since the Time Lords are trying to break into the regular universe, I wanted to float a theory to you. The fact that we will see more Time Lords in Series 8 or Series 9. This totally opens the door for people that might not make the best Doctor, but would make excellent Time Lords. So let's talk about who those people could be. In addition, I'll also be talking about my choices for potential new companions too, so be sure to subscribe to get that video. We don't know quite how long Jenna Louise Coleman is going to stay on. She hasn't signed on for Series 9 yet. One of the real beauties of this is that a Time Lord could totally just be a quick cameo, so we can think of actors that might be too busy to, say, be on the show all the time. Cue the fanfiction. Here are my top 10 picks for who those people could be. Number 10, Andrew Scott. He's been the quintessential villain since Sherlock Series 1, but his portrayal of Moriarty has this playfulness that feels just like a madman in a box. There were even some Sherlock actors that guest starred on Matt Smith's run, like Rupert Graves. As much fun as it would be to see him become Doctor Who's greatest nemesis, the Master, I feel like it would be too obvious of a choice. So giving Scott the opportunity to channel some of his crazy performance into a good character would be a nice change of pace. And he would still totally have all of time and space to cause mischief in. Number 9, Tom Hardy as the Warrior. The existence of the War Doctor is totally proof that Time Lords can be warriors. So wouldn't it be fun to see the very large, you know, physically imposing Tom Hardy play a Time Lord that was still in a warrior incarnation of himself? Just because you're a warrior doesn't mean you have to be a villain. The Doctor's code, never cruel or cowardly, is something that's unique to him. Not all Time Lords have to have laid down their swords after the Time War ended. So I'd really like to see Peter Capaldi meet another warrior Time Lord and try to get him to chill out. Hardy could also just be like a physically big, you know, imposing doctor, just like Eccleston's too. Number 8, Jude Law, the pretty boy Time Lord. I'm totally just joking with the pretty boy, but for a lot of his career, that's what Jude Law was known as, the pretty boy. I think he'd do an amazing job of playing a post-gender swapped Time Lord. During Doctor's Wife, Matt Smith even alluded to the fact that he had a relationship with another Time Lord that went from female to male. Jude Law could totally play that character, or someone like him, even though Father implied that all those messenger cubes belonged to Time Lords that he had killed. Number 7, Ralph Fiennes as the new Rassilon. Timothy Dalton was amazing as Rassilon during Russell T. Davies' run, but because the tone of the show has changed so much since the 10th Doctor, and, you know, will continue to get darker, I think Lord Voldemort would bring the right level of intensity to the ruler of the Time Lords. There have been a lot of theories about where Rassilon was during the events of the 50th anniversary, and confusion over whether or not he's still trapped in that time lock bubble, but for the purposes of this video, you know, let's assume that he's on Gallifrey with all the other citizens right now. So vote yes for Lord Voldemort Rassilon. Number 6, Dame Helen Mirren as the Woman in White. So many theories about her being the Doctor's mother, but let's assume she's not for a moment, just so we can open the doors to making her a good foil for River Song, also rumored to return in Series 8. Who would ever be able to out River Song, River Song, but the Queen of England? She's such an amazing actress, she could play almost any of the characters on the show, like say a female master. But making her the new Woman in White would just be a good pairing for an episode or a future anniversary special that also featured my, you know, Rassilon dream pick, Ralph Fine. Note that you don't have to have both those characters in the same story whenever you bring them back, it's just the last time they appeared, the Woman in White and Rassilon worked together. Number 5, Gwendolyn Christie as Romana. Pre-50th anniversary, her status was alive slash unknown. In some of the non-TV series material, she even took Rassilon's job as president for a brief period. Regardless of previous portrayals of the character, as Brienne on Game of Thrones, Gwendolyn is one of the most positive and powerful women in science fiction and fantasy, superpowers notwithstanding. The Woman in White is another really powerful female Time Lord, but I always view that character being played by an older actress. Romana, on the other hand, seems like it would be a better choice for a younger actress. Gwendolyn would be about 3 inches taller than Capaldi, so it would make for some great visual gags too. As in, you are a wise mentor to me, but I am probably going to be the one to pull your ass out of the time fire at some point. Number 4, Hugh Laurie as the meddling monk. Think Black Adder, Jeeves and Worcester Hugh Laurie, not House Hugh Laurie. We spent so much time watching him play a character that resembled the War Doctor, it would be so much more fun to watch Laurie go back to his comedy roots and play a Loki-type Time Lord. He's not evil, he just likes to make a mess of things. Who better to clean them up than the stern 12th Doctor? Just picture Capaldi giving Laurie the stare. Number 3, Ben Wisha as the Scholar. I don't really see him playing the same type of Time Lord as a hulking Tom Hardy, but Ben Wishaw was one of my top picks for the 12th Doctor before Peter Capaldi was announced. Imagine an amalgam of his characters from James Bond and the Hollow Crown. I'd really like to see him as a bookish Time Lord who Capaldi would go to for assistance with some unsolvable riddle. Picture his TARDIS as looking like a more grand version of the library we saw during Series 7. Number 2, Tom Hiddleston. Starting to break into the realm of fanfiction, but this is a wish list. So Hiddleston even co-starred with Wishaw in Hollow Crown. He's been this consummate bad guy ever since Thor, but I think that he has the perfect level of ambiguity that would really lend itself to being a Time Lord. 
The Doctor always said that the Time War twisted his people, so imagine the scene in Avengers where Loki steps out of the portal for the first time, looking all haunted and deranged, but not totally evil. Just imagine a Time Lord burdened with glorious purpose. Mewling Quims for the win. And my number one pick for a new Time Lord, Chiwetel IG4, the rumored almost 12th Doctor. Chiwetel was supposedly the Anglo-African actor offered the role of the Doctor, but then turned it down for personal reasons. This is all based on conjecture from a statement Neil Gaiman made, but it's since passed into fanfic legend. If he was good enough to play the Doctor, and he's probably going to win a Best Actor Oscar, just think of what he would bring to a Time Lord character. So in related news, there is a ton of other actors that I had to leave off the list. Idris Elba, Eddie Redmayne, Aidan Turner, and Benedict Cumberbatch. But we have to set a few aside for potential choices for a new master. So if there's anything that I really hope to see in Series 8, it's a new Time Lord, like a new major character. Not one we have to see all the time, but someone really powerful like Rassilon or even Riversong. Based on a lot of comments that the production staff is making, people are assuming that a lot of Classic Who is coming back, but I really hope that Moffat introduces some new things into the canon. Now it's your turn though, let me know who would you like to see play a new Time Lord in Series 8 or Series 9. Remember this is a wish list. it could be anybody you want, male, female, old, young. So unless we get any other really big news from the set, my next Doctor Who video is going to be my top 10 choices for a new companion, you know, either in replacement of or in addition to Jenna Louise Coleman. Be sure to subscribe to get it. We don't know quite how long she's going to stay on. She hasn't announced anything about Series 9 yet. Right now, click here to learn more about Series 8 and click here to get my Sherlock Series 4 predictions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.